take this opportunity on behalf of the Irish Northern Drag Hunting Association to thank you for this promotion of our club and our sport. We're in operation many, many years. I only joined the club five or six years ago. I'm James Mooney, I'm the secretary of the club. Um, in the latter years, we have some remarkable success with the sport. The sport is dog racing. They call it trail hound racing. We lay a man-made scent and it could be anything from 5 mile to 25 mile depending on the course that's got on the day in question. Um, the lads here today are all keen members of the Drag Hunting Club uh, in this area. We run drags every Sunday from April to October. This October the All-Ireland Heats are in Valencia Island in County Kerry and we will all travel there once again. Um, the chairman is Amy Philip Smith. He has, with Thomas Cochran, who trained the dog from, brought the biggest success to our organisation ever. Last year, there was a big marathon race in Cork. It's the O'Mahony Cup. John O'Mahony Cup. John O'Mahony Cup. And this cup never left Cork in 68 years. And Philip owned a dog called Small and Dainty, and Thomas trained it for him last season. And they brought the dog to Cork. I suppose some of us thought maybe the dog had no chance, but Thomas was very keen in relation to, he thought the dog had a good chance. And lo and behold, the dog won this race. And it was one of the most prestigious races in Trailhound Racing in Ireland. And I'm gonna hand you over now to Philip and Thomas. They're gonna say a few words in relation to their expedition to Cork that year. So Philip, what have you got to say about this well, in your many years of drag hunting? Well, I'm drag hunting 44 years and uh, it's the biggest achievement ever I had in dry hunting in my life. Thanks to this man beside me. He thinks he's the best trainer in Ireland. Here, here. And uh, he showed the other day what kind of a trainer he is and the way he feeds his dogs. And it's all about feeding the dog, getting the dog right for the big day. And he's number one in Ireland, I'd say. He's, 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 he's next to Aidan O'Brien and the horses. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got to say about that, John? Probably every year the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, it's all about the dogs for me. It's not about me personally or anybody else. I don't think in the club, no one's as big as the dog. It's a great club and we love our sport and hopefully it'll go on for many, many years. And this is one of the best achievements of our of our life so far in the drag hunting. And uh, hopefully in August we'll be taking another cup back from Kerry. Good man, man. Mm -hmm. president, president here, Dominic. President, 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 president. I'm in this club about, uh, how long would it be in it? About ten, ten, maybe eight years, maybe. Yeah. And it's, it's one of the best sports I was ever in, and enjoy, really enjoyed it. We have lost the title, and we have done Ireland Marathon at the moment. But we're hoping to add to that this year. You know, we, ha we have a cup every every Sunday, like there's 22 cups, 23 cups yeah. on the circuit. You know, for different people that's passed away and dragging memorial cups and everything else. You know, all our cups, the majority of them is, is memorial cups. Memorial for, cups for people that has passed away from their sport. Like last week, we had a very big drag. Raymond Riley organised it up in Kill at the windmills and it's a memorial cup to his father, Tom O'Reilly. And then we, we had a harrier hunt the same day. 
and it was a very famous huntsman. It was a memorial cup for a man from Kill, Phil Floody. And a very, this is the second year Raymond has ran this drag, and it's a very big drag hunt. And we do finish off with a presentation, food, and music and dancing in Tullavin. And it's proven to be a great event now this last two years, and we hope to run it for many, many more. I'm in it about five years now, and the way I got into it, I was given Maggie Smith, the daughter of this man's driving lesson. And we started to talk about dogs, and she started to give me a little bit of insight into the club. And next thing, I was invited on St. Patrick's Day, approximately five years ago, out to Balnahaya. And next thing, I looked, I enjoyed it. One of the biggest thank yous as a club we have to give is the farmers of the localities that we go to ask permission for the drag hunts. Nobody says no. We try and respect their land when we're on it as such, and without the farmers, we can't drag, and we thank them very much as a club. Philip has said that he, he heard about Pat McBride, member and all them boys, and one story I'm taking out that Philip and Pat McBride and all them boys was going to carry to a drag hunt. And Paddy Riley, he was, I don't know what age he was at the time, but he was an old man, and he was, he was taken on to drive. And Tommy McDonald asked him, did he know the way to go to Kerry? He says, I, I know what he says, I was in it when you were only a gas, and he said. So the boys took off on the white horse and headed off, and Tommy McDonald torn down right, and Paddy, Paddy Riley was straight up Cavan Street. And we come back and manage himself from, from the dry count that night, and uh, Ben Morans was after riding the bicycle down to Pat McBride Street that morning. So Paddy Riley said, I'll leave you home, Bembo. So that was already, he put the bicycle in the boot of the car, and so Paddy landed up at, at Bembo's house, and of course he had it. He had a couple of wines on him and reversed into the pail and he, he doubled the front wheel and met Bembo's wife's bicycle and Bembo gave him a few sweet ones. <laughs>